my story and I'm sticking to that. So let's have another drink and let's talk about the blues. Blues is about dignity, it's about self-respect. And no matter what they take away from you, that's yours for keeps. I remember how it was, how every medium, the TV and papers and radio and all those people were saying, you're on the scrap and you're useless. And I remember how easy it was to start believing that. I remember how you'd hear people take it for granted that it was true just because someone with an ounce of power said so. And that's a problem now. Too many oddballs, too many pocketbook psychologists and would-be philosophers with an axe to grind. But there's a solution. It's not easy, but it's a matter of coming to terms in your heart with the situation you're in. A matter of choosing how things go for you and not having things forced upon you. Plenty of forces against you, forcing you against your will, your ideals. You've got to hope for the best, and that's the best you can hope for. You've got to hope against hope. I remember something Sal Paradise said. He said, the city intellectuals of the world are divorced from the folk body blood of the land and are just ruthless fools. So listen. When the smile, the condescending pat on the back comes and says We're sorry but you're nothing, you've got nothing for us and we've got nothing for you You say no, and say it loud No! And remember, people who talk about revolution and class struggle Without referring explicitly to everyday life Without understanding what is subversive about love And what is positive in the refusal of constraint Six people have a corpse in their mouth.